Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Roush Creek for Crawling for Canines. It is the first event that they are hosting. Great organization, and a big thank you to them for putting on such an event. We got multiple groups heading out now. Um, we are group 13, led by Matt Walker, and Derek is our tail gunner. We got Kyle behind us, and we got Mikey right in front of us. So let's get going. Um, we got, like I said, multiple groups heading out. Hopefully we don't bump into a lot of traffic today because uh, that's usually what the case is when you head out with, again, there's probably north of, you know, 20 something groups, if 30. There's about 200 Jeeps here or more and probably 300 participants, including passengers and drivers. Um, so we're gonna head out now and let's see what the Land Cruiser can do. Just so you know, I'm not running the locker right now, but I will probably engage it when we get to the first trail because it is a, uh, well, it's known as 1C, so it's a black trail, and apparently it's a little tight, and it might be somewhat hard, but we're gonna see what it's like. I don't think I've ever done it before, and we'll see how the Land Cruiser performs. Right, guys that was the 1c black trail land cruiser did real well um thank you micah for that clip because obviously it's hard to record stuff when you're driving your vehicle um we are hitting the power line now and headed up uh, i think it's towards some blue trails um the 1c black was the only black we're doing right now we might do more later uh seeing how comfortable the group is uh group 13 with matt walker leading us and uh he's a great trail guide and Derek is tail gunning it so we're gonna have a you know a blast and you know if 1c is what the rest of the day is gonna be like i'm pretty excited to see what we got in store so matt did not blow out a tire this time um because it was like right here uh yeah i think it was like these branches right here that his uh, front right tire blew out so this is a really good picture spot um, it's a really great flex zone you got Micah and then Mikey behind him and you got me all the way in the background over there I still have yet to take this on I'm not sure if I want to but because it's like right there you kind of slide to the left and I'm just afraid that my rear quarter panel might make contact with that branch right there so we'll see um, Matt, I think we have people coming up the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, they're back. So, oh, yep, he's backing up. All right, cool. Yeah. So, we're going to try to accomplish this. I'll see if I'm going to take this trail on or not. Yep. Look at that flex. Jeep's angry. <laughs> He's got some demons inside that Wrangler. He's so pissed off. Why you do this to me? Here we got the Yoda. Woo! Talk about three wheel. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of his way before. See, yours doesn't sound as angry as his does. Yeah. Because it's a Toyota. 
<laughs> and the smack talk begins. That's really tilted. Th that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm being mined a lot taller than that. Didn't you do it last time? I thought you did this last time. Nope. You skipped out everything? Mm -hmm. All the two times? Some can't. And there it is. alternative route to what everyone else just took. I love my Land Cruiser, so I don't wanna put it through potential, you know, quarter panel damage or door damage or any sort of, you know, major damage. So therefore I just, you know, I'd rather not do it and be safe and sorry in the long run. So we're gonna continue now. Everybody is pretty much towards the bottom. Um, yep, that should be, I think two more people. Go hard driver.
I don't know the best way. Driver? Driver or passenger? Uh, passenger, <laughs> sorry. Right there. You're still good. Yep. You going this way or that way? Come this way, come this way. There's a big rock. Big drop. Perfect line. What am I doing here? That's a big rock, right? If you stay a little to the left of it. I stay to the right or the left? This side. Just a tiny bit. Put it on that rock. Yeah, now go right a little, straighten out. You're good right there. You're not the first one. I beat I beat you to it. You can come forward and then come up here. We're going to have to get him this way. What? Hang on. Oh. Hang on. I, I want to see what looks easiest. That side has some big rocks that he's going to catch his dip on. Oh, man. Well, he cleared it here so he can come down and then cut hard driver. I think if we get him on that rock there, get him up over and then cut him back over here to get him down deep. Yeah, he's got good clearance with this thing. Come back this way. I don't want him to slide off of that. Back up some and go that way. You want to go to the left? All right.
like, where's the diesel? And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just crawling. It was fun for the first half. Calling him fat? Just the exhaust again. It's all right. It's just a tip. Oh. You're on the log.
front locker? Oh, it's just the rear locker? It's that passenger you side. Right there. Keep that angle. It should slide up on it. Keep coming. You just got a nice rock. You got to get up over it. Yep. 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 Outside while we to work. Yeah. trail was somewhat technical um, Kyle had a somewhat of a big mishap on that trail um, you guys can go watch his video and find out what happened to his Jeep uh, but the Land Cruiser did great um, the real locker again has been doing excellent so far I feel like if I didn't have it I'd be spinning on some of the portions of that trail especially but I think it's again the Land Cruiser it's a tank um, and not a lot of people will take it off-road, especially Roush Creek, because they think it's either too big, too heavy, too top-heavy. I mean, none of that is wrong, but I think it's still a blast. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying so far. Uh, we are going to continue down. I'm not even sure what trail we're on right now, but we got Matt up front and everybody else on the last vehicle right now. Well, for now, somebody else is coming back, so let's continue. signs that are posted up on the tree for fallen officers and the companies that sponsored those names. We've 
I've uh, done this trail before and I've showed you in a previous video so I can't really hold this and drive the trail at the same time so when I get to the portion where we kind of drop below I'll see if anybody is nearby and we'll record that but we're starting the trail now my thing won't turn sideways bro what the hell I'm looking straight right now and the jeeps are down there just for some reference looking straight and now looking up
I don't think I'm making that. Mike is trying it. <laughs> This is extremely technical. Kind of sucks the cameras to show true justice for trails like this. Yeah. <laughs> He's, you're right on the tip of it. It sounds like a plastic cup on a bicycle wheel. Back from the 2000s, even before that.
your axle. Literally sitting on it. And it has well, a yeah. hole. There's a hole right there. That's pretty bad. That's Kyle's fault. He blames it on somebody else, but it's really his fault. That is. You can go watch the video. That's a terrible spotter. Yeah, that's well, he should have had rock sliders on there, so that's kind of Kyle's fault. That could have been a long time ago, but procrastination at its finest. Look what it leaves him with damage. But what what really happened? I ran over a child. <laughs> he has issues. Yeah, I'd say so. So, 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 someone made a mistake on the trail and ended up uh, being on a flatbed. So, unfortunately, Kyle did not finish off on a good note today. But Micah and Emily's Jeep is working, the Land Cruiser is working, and everybody else in our group finished and came off well done. Yeah, other than other than the one guy. That's it. Leave it to Jeep and Daily to to kind of not finish his day on a good note. So. Kyle will get it fixed though. It'll be back up and running and we're gonna hit the trails once again. So Kyle does have a new mod to the Jeep. I gotta give him that, but he didn't really have any time to use this today. Um, he got a new tire carrier rear bumper setup, which is pretty awesome. And if you can't tell what really happened here, you can see he had a little boo-boo today, but he'll get that fixed in no time. And uh, he'll be back out on the trails here at Roush Creek and we're gonna have some fun. There you go, look at that. Blake saying, right after work, Monday night, Jeep and Daily will be back up and running. Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome to the Jeep and Daily channel. I'm trying to record here, and this guy is... There goes the Jeep. <laughs> Stay tuned to figure out what happened. Okay. I'm trying to record the Jeep rolling away on the rollback, and this guy's over here starting an intro to his YouTube channel. Oh, by the well, way... Well, there goes Jeep and Daily's Jeep. Goodbye. It's so far over.